right guys i'm back with the technical actual beta day six video because i did the video prior to this because i forgot to do beta day five i spent the whole entire day at work and i don't where i work the reception is horrible um and it was just kind of a hectic day where i really just didn't have the time to oh let me turn on my camera most of my clients are camera shy um yeah so there would not have been much to record there i would have liked to rem at least if i would have remembered i could have asked hey is it okay if i record you my nose is still itching even though i put some type of butter on here to kind of help with what maybe i thought was dryness so it, it might be an allergy anyway so yesterday uh, the previous video was me talking about my favorite brushes and my favorite watercolors thus far because I'm still learning a lot about watercolor and gouache but things that I have been trying tried and true um not that I like I said have tried a whole bunch of brands of acrylic paint but I like golden but I don't have a lot of golden I actually probably now don't have any golden I started off with maybe four or five golden paints because I was at an art supply store that did not offer Liquitex. So I got the golden and it was nice. I liked it, um, but I'm just, where I'm located, um, the supply store that I go to, it does carry golden now. That's my phone, sorry. It does carry golden, carry golden now, but I don't know. I just grabbed the Liquitex. Now, I use the student grade of Liquitex. Although I do have the heavy body that's more expensive, I have only maybe four tubes of that. This is mostly the brand that I go for is the Student Grade Basics brand. Um, I have lots of different colors of that. And I cannot honestly tell you when the last time I actually used acrylic paint. Um, when I'm not using that brand, I will go with AC Moore, carries the Reeves brand. Although Reeves is something that's also been found at Michaels at one point in time. I think AC Moore has really just consistently carried it. So I use the Reeves also, which to me is kind of like having the heavy body Liquitex. Reeves, for it to be so affordable, is a really nice brand of paint. And that's su supposedly across the board. I've started off with Reeves in oil paints as well the first type of reeves oil paint though that i did use was their let's see water mixables i'm trying to find one for you guys hmm. all their tubes look alike that is the crazy thing about reeves you have to read the tubes but here's a water mixable reeves but also their gouache looks the same way. So you have to definitely read the tubes and pay attention. And their watercolor looks a little bit different. But maybe it's because they have an older set of watercolor. Because the watercolor I believe looks like this now too. But it'll just say watercolor right here in the circle. And or it'll say gouache in the circle. Or oil, water mixable oil, water, um, you know or it'll just say oil. So gouache, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Reeves has been a brand that has consistently been really good to me, especially when I don't have a lot of money and I'm learning something because I don't want to commit to expensive products and I'm still learning to see if I even like using this or if this is something I want to incorporate and in being mixed media artists or what have you. So I'm telling you guys, if you're a student or if you're someone who's just getting into this and your funds might be funny or you're a person who, even if you have a lot of money, you don't want to start jumping out there, investing in high-end paints until you've gotten, you know, the swing of things, Reeves. They carry water mixable oils, which is good because some people can't do the solvents and stuff. But these also dry a little faster than the regular oils unless you're using solvents that help dry it faster 
Um, also, I don't know what is wrong with my nose and my skin. I am itching so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm doing this on camera, but I'm not going to record this again. This is like my third time of recording, and I'm just going to keep going. But they cover the whole gamut, obviously. They have color pencils. Um, they have water mix, water soluble color pencils. They have, I don't know if they have markers. I'm sure they do, but they seem to cover the whole gamut. It's a company that's been around forever. And so far, as far as if you're looking for something budget friendly, but decent quality, Reese is your guy or girl, whoever Reese is. Yeah, right. Well, Reese might be a little dog because it's a little doggy right there. <laughs> but anyway, that is that. Now, so I've talked about acrylic paint. Now I'm getting ready to talk about oil because I did kind of pull out some oils to show you how Reeves covers the whole gamut as far as mediums are concerned. Now, um, the oils that I like, that I started off with was water soluble, water mixable. I did upgrade to Winsor Newton. Um, yeah, they're about the same as the Reeves. And you spend more money. So I would say go with Reeves if you want to do water mixable. Um, but when I really finally got serious about my oil paints, where I felt confident that I could go ahead and invest money and really do it up, I switched completely. I still have some Reeves stuff, but I'm not going to throw it away. It's still perfectly good paint. But this has been my babe, gambling. Gambling is amazing. I've not tried anything outside of Reeves or Windsor Newton or the Premier, which is AC Morris, like a studio, I mean, their brand of paints. I've used them. But um, gambling, you guys. I saw, I see several artists that I'm in love with uses gambling. And also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's North American's most favorite oil paint. It's really popular here in North America. That means here in the States and in Canada, this is like some popular stuff. And their colors are so vibrant and they have the whole gamut of colors. And um, they're real creamy, they're opaque. They're tr I mean, they're just awesome. Like now that I use these, it's hard to say if I don't have, I have to just try to mix the color to get what I want if I don't have it. Because it's hard for me to say, well, I don't have the perfect, I don't know, ultramarine, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one by somebody else, you know, or whatever. I have to just mix it or go and get it or something. Now, if you do want a set of gambling paints, I suggest you start saving your money or maybe ask somebody to gift it to you. But you can get a set, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. My memory serves me correctly. You can get a set of gambling and it'll come with a wood cradle. And yeah, here it is. This is the introductory set and you get, let me see, how many colors do you get in here? You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. That's nine. That's an odd number. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Nine colors in there. And so you just look up gambling artist oil colors introductory set or gambling introductory paint set. You'll see this on different websites. You'll see it on Amazon. You'll see it on Jury's Autorama. You'll see it on Dick Blick. You'll see it on 
a lot of different places. So, yeah. And they're pretty much the same price within a few dollars um, on most places. So, yeah. They also have sets of different ones like the Fast Matte Alkyd Oils. Um, they have that student grade set, which is the... Um, what is it called? The student grade set. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I think it's like their 1980 something. Anyway, I want student grade. I want this. Okay, so that set can run you about between 60 and 70 dollars if they have it on sale somewhere. Definitely say that's a that's a good nine colors, and then. You can mix those colors to make other colors, but when you start saving, you can also just go ahead and make sure you, you know, because one thing I definitely have to have is skin tones. And of course, white and black. And then the primaries. And I can mix everything from there. And then as I, as my um, money, my budget works out, I can get other colors. Like, you can get some of the more bold, vivid colors as things start working out for you. Like, uh, let me see. Like, everything I'm reaching for is not that. Like, manganese blue and the cadmium yellow and I have some pinks in here. I need to clean this bed out. Anyway, you get the gist of what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep these videos short. But I think I'm almost done. I want to talk a little bit about color pencils now. My favorite color pencils are Prismacolors. Um, they're a little pricey, but you can also find those di different deals and stuff. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit more about markers. There are some affordable markers. I just did a review on these. And these are, to me, like really nice markers, almost like Copics or Prismacolor or Pro Markers. But you don't spend nearly as much money and the quality of them is really good only i say the only thing i don't like that i've seen so far is that they really don't have i really wish they had a brush tip um so yeah there's that they blend pretty good i still i had to get used to them initially but now that i've gotten used to them they do have a very nice blending quality to them now these are the 100 markers that I use for my coloring books and stuff like that. I've also used the design markers for the coloring books. But these are 100 markers. I, they don't have a brand, it just says 100 markers on the container. You can get these in my Amazon affiliate store on therichant.com. All of this stuff you can. And the downside about these is they're not, they're, they're water-based, they're not alcohol-based. So on cheap paper, it'll tend to roll the paper up. And they don't blend to me as seamlessly as a higher end marker would. So that's the downside about that. The other prismic, I mean, other color pencils that I tend to use is Prangs. Um, these are really affordable, but they don't blend to me as well as the Prismacolors because these are kind of waxy. Um, it's a thicker pencil, so you know if you if that's the thing that's important to you, they're a little bit bigger than the Prismacolor as far as diameter. Um, but yeah, they're good. I just like the Prism Colors a whole lot better because the lead of the Prism Color is so soft and buttery and creamy. But I know that soft sometimes is a pain for some people because the lead breaks while they're coloring. But I kind of, as much as that's frustrating, I have an electric color pencil battery operated situation here. So I just lickety split, sharpen it back up and be ready to rock and roll again. Now, if I was just using a mechanical uh, pencil sharpener, then you, that would be a bit annoying. So, those are my favorite art supplies. That's what I've been using for the most part. I have a few random stuff like folk art. I like to use their metallic paints. Um, the golds and the rose golds and all of that. Even metallic greens. Because they're very opaque. But they're very affordable. They're like two fifty, if that, a tube for a little bottle like that. So that is it for beta day five and six. I do apologize for not having yesterday's video up for beta. 
And so for those of you who are interested in any of these things, you can check it out on therichant.com. Or you can just go to your local beauty supply, I mean not beauty supply, art supply store, and check them out. I uh, would rather you buy it from me though, so yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. And like I said, all of these things also work really well, except for the oil kites of course, and acrylics with the, the rich ant um, the queens of rich where you can get this at the rich ant.com I've used watercolors markers color pencils everything in these books everything um, except for old paint mm -mm. I wanted to dry like right now I've used gouache everything so, I have Periscope channel that I broadcast live from where I do color live and give you free tips and tricks. I will be doing classes on different types of ways to create art and color. And that will be coming to my Patreon account soon. So, I'm going to be done because my face is still itching and I'm, I'm trying to resist rubbing it so much especially my nose on camera <laughs> but uh mm, talk to you guys later bye